Welcome back. Well, the NCD Lipopo chairperson Stan Matabate has assured party members and the country at large that the NEC meeting taking place today will finalize and close the transition impasse. Matabata was addressing the PC Lehotla at Mokopan in Limpopo. The address was a few hours ahead of the NC's NEC special meeting here in Gauteng. Matabata, who is also a member of the NEC, says the new NC leadership will prioritize the interests of South Africans. This matter will come to an end today. It, it will be resolved today. There is a clear commitment to almost many of the, the NEC members that one has already spoken to, that this matter must be put to a rest today. We can't afford to fail our people anymore. Our people have spoken to us in 2016, and our people have shown us that there is no one including the African National Congress, who should come before them. The people of South Africa comes first, and they must be respected. All right, let's get further discussion on the Zigzag Talks. And joining us from RC Point Studios is constitutional law expert and director at the Center for Constitutional Rights, Ms. Pepe Lapidube. And also in our Pretoria studios, we're very pleased to be joined by political analyst, Professor Somato Dafigeni. Let's start with you, Pepe Lapi. A very good afternoon to you. Um, I mean, a much anticipated outcome it is, but will it actually come into fruition looking at how the matter has been handled so far? Um, good afternoon. Well, I think for me, it's quite important for us to separate the processes in that there's essentially what is taking place right now, which is essentially a political process. But of course, it's important for that political process to rise to the second stage, which is then the legal process, in order for any of the decisions that are taken, in order for any of the decisions that are, take, that are taken by the NEC to have legal force. So just to explain further, the notion of a recall is really ANC parlance, but in order for that to meet the constitutional demand, it's important for the president himself to resign in accordance with that with being recalled. And then that resignation rises to what the constitution refers to as a vacancy in the president's office. And then, of course, once there's a vacancy in the president's office, it obviously depends on how exactly the president chooses to leave the office. So if he simply resigns by by virtue of being recalled, then in terms of the constitution, the deputy president is going to be sworn in and he's going to be in the acting position, in the, in the, pres in the position as acting president for a period of 30 days until parliament reconvenes and then the National Assembly chooses a new president from amongst its members. But then there's also a second consideration and the second consideration arises out of the fact that if the president does not acquiesce to the request by the, to, or rather to the notion of being recalled by the mm -hmm. NEC, then there are a couple of options that are going to be open to the, to, to, to the, to, to the ANC. And I think your earlier discussion touched a couple of those um, options. Mm -hmm. The one being an impeachment and the second one being a motion of no confidence. But of course, I think the question here is really a political question in that, you know, does is the president willing to go through with the ignominy of being voted out of parliament, of being voted out of office by his comrades? I think that's pretty much the same position that Tabo Mbeki found himself. And I, I guess, you know, out of not wanting to share or face the embarrassment of being voted out of office by his comrades, mm. he elected to abide by being recalled. But I think essentially we need to distinguish between the political process and the legal process. All right, Professor Figueiredo, maybe let's distinguish.